All right, so just like you saw in that video of Anansi, Anansi is an example of a folk tale that comes from a people group or a culture in another country. So that one's obviously from Africa. Anansi is a big, big uh, character in a lot of African stories, hence why they call them spider stories. So in this uh, video though, he made him look like a man, but a lot of people actually draw him like an actual spider. So let's go ahead. Spiders have a head, and we'll do an upside down teardrop for a head. Round body. Eight legs, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, it was a Spider-Man that they said, not, not at the Marvel Spider-Man, but Anansi the Spider-Man. So a lot of people actually draw him with a man's face. headband on his head. And they often say that he wears a belt too. So let's make these legs a little thicker. There is our Anansi. So I want you to go ahead and get out a blue. All right, I'm gonna have a blue. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw either an octagon or hexagon that goes around Anansi. All right. So I see this, in each of these corners, I want you to draw a line from the corner all the way out to the outside of the page. Y'all are going to be starting folk tales and fables soon. There's a great example of a folk tale, Anansi. There's a lot of Anansi stories on YouTube. They're all great. All right, so we're gonna turn this into Anansi's web. So start somewhere. We're gonna go around. And around. And around. Remember, it's capable of doing great weavings. All right, and we're going to stop there. Now, I have an example of kente cloth. I know we're in January, but soon we're going to be February, and February is African American Heritage Month. So I want you to look at the kente cloth and the patterns that could be found in it. I want you to add those patterns, because remember, this, is, this web is going to be Anansi's home. So let's add some patterns to the inside of his web so he has a beautiful home to come home to. I know a lot of people don't like spiders but spiders are actually very good. They like to eat harmful insects like mosquitoes, gnats, other biting insects, stinging insects. So it's actually very good to have spiders. Look 
All right, so fill up your web, decorate it, and uh, I'll have a finished example in the Google Classroom for you to look at. All right, can't wait to see what y'all come up with. Bye-bye.